Now, I thought because this Korean thing has been going on for a while, that maybe uh, I should address uh, some of the issues involved there specifically. So this is, you know, ripped from today's headlines or whatever. This is Political Science 211, Introduction to International Relations. Typically, the class is about 50 to 60, two-thirds freshmen. North Korea has a lot of missiles. If we look at those that have a, a range of at least 1,000 kilometers, depending on who you want to believe, they either have about 50 or perhaps about 200 of those. I don't think the threat is credible. I don't think they will attack. Quote, unquote, we believe, intelligence people believe, that in terms of the missiles that have the capability of, of hitting Alaska, intelligence folks believe maybe one or two of these, okay? So what you can see is they can't attack the United States. So feel free to go to Austin this weekend. You will not be attacked by North Korean nuclear weapons. I absolutely promise you that. The map of the actual, you know, radii we think they can hit with their missiles, and the biggest one certainly is barely able to hit Alaska. But there's no question that North Korea would lose the war. The only way, in my opinion, it maintains its independence is if China says, we really, you know, we're aggravated with the North as well. We understand why this war started. It wasn't really your fault. But we, what we can't allow is we can't allow a much larger South Korea that extends all, an American ally and you've just proven that you're an ally because you just joined the South Koreans in this war, up to our border. I do agree with Dr. Stone that the leader is trying to, the current new leader is trying to create, you know, his own image, develop a reputation. I think the odds are reasonable that ultimately, at least for now, that the, the North Korea will back down. But if they do that, we're going to see something like this happen in the future. I believe that North Korea will continue with its nuclear program, even though there are sanctions. I think that they will continue developing long-range missiles. Uh, and again, I think this kind of behavior is just part of how they do things.